Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna unbox and review the Asus MA25 Mocha adapter. When you're setting up a mesh system, for instance, there are two ways of connecting it. Number one is wireless backhaul. So let's just take this Asus mesh system right here. So if one of them is hooked up to your modem, the other one is basically one or two rooms away and they're wirelessly talking to each other. Now, it, with some mesh systems, they get pretty good performance off the secondary node, even off wireless backhaul. But with some mesh systems, they do not. So the other option is called wired backhaul. Now wired backhaul is basically when you have an ethernet going from this guy to this guy to create a fast and stable connection. Now that's not always possible uh, in some places because you know when this is when they're basically let's just say two rooms apart uh, unless you want to have an ethernet cable going you know throughout your home if you want it hidden away somewhere or in the walls or something like that it's not really always possible now what mocha does is it basically uses your existing coaxial cable through your walls to um, basically transmit the signal through that now this one the reason why it's a mocha 2.5 or an ma25 is because it supports up to 2.5 gigabit speeds so basically what you would do is on one end and it does require power but on one end you would hook up so this would go to your coax through your wall and this would hook up via ethernet to this mesh system and you would hook it up to power and then the, the signal would go through the wall, through the coax cable, through the walls. And then on the other side, it would connect to this guy, uh, the coax. And then from this, the ethernet would go to the other guy, basically. And that would essentially create a wired backhaul node. And it would basically be wired backhaul and it would, in theory, give you much better performance. Now, I am going to test this thing out and see what type of speeds we get. So I'm, I'm actually very curious about that. And this is also wall mountable in case you guys are wondering. But yeah, this is by ASUS ME25, links down below. So we got the two coax cables, you have the ethernet cable. So they're basically providing everything you would need. And it is CAD 5E. And it looks like they have some right angle adapters, which is kind of nice that you can use that and yeah so you get two of those and you get some screws and anchors for the wall mounts and you get the two power adapters and yeah that's pretty much it so i've had a chance to play with this thing and it is very good however it also depends on the quality of your coax cable so i have these connected to each other right now because i'm going to do a live demo but as I mentioned during the unboxing, you have to basically connect this to your wall outlet and then, you know, a couple rooms down, you connect the other side to the other uh, wall outlet and then that's so the Ethernet's going to kind of travel through the coax and come back out and you can have Ethernet come back out. Now, in my case, I'm supplying it with a 5 gigabits per second upload and download speed connection. So... Already at this point, this is going to cap it at most to 2.5 gigabits because that's the port that's on this. Now, for this demo, I have these connected using this short coax cable that it came with, and I'm going to test it on my laptop. And there are a few other things that I wanted to explain, but let's just do a quick speed test. So right now, I want to show you guys my laptop is not connected to the internet my wi-fi is off and there's no ethernet cord well this is the ethernet cord connected and i'm going to connect this to the other side so well let me do it so it's not all tangled and stuff well okay it's going to be tangled either way all right so i connected that so now if i give it a second my computer should recognize it okay boom so i'm going to run a speed test on this thing and we're going to see that it, it gets 2.2, 2.3 gigabits per second off this coax line. Now, this is really dependent on, again, the quality of this coax line. If there's a lot of splitters within your home or if they're low quality. So all of this can actually affect your speeds. However, however the fact that I can actually pull basically 2.2 gigabits out of this thing is very impressive. So if you're running a gigabit and this can already handle 2.2 that's already very very good now 
So you guys saw this uh, task 2.2, 2.2 basically. Now, if we look at the instruction manuals, there's two things for this. So number one is if you have a DOCSIS 3.1 modem, so basically if you're running a cable modem now, there's a good chance it's a DOCSIS 3.1. If so, they recommend for you to set it to mode one, which is what I have it set to. So there is a mode one right here, and that's what I have it set to on both. Now it says if you don't have this, which in my case I'm actually running fiber optic, I would set it to mode two in my case. And I think mode two you get slightly faster speeds, but I wanted to run the test with mode one and mode two. Granted there's really not too much of a difference, but that's one option that they want you to test. So I'm gonna click go on this. And then the second thing is if you have more than one Mocha adapter in your home, which I don't know how common that's gonna be, but if it is and you want to run it with different security privacy settings, then you need to run it with MPS. So you need to set up MPS, which is basically this button right here. So, which is not the case for me. And yeah, so I'm actually getting very similar speeds to the first one. So right around 2.2, a tad bit faster, but it's basically the same thing. So. This is really good news because if you're running internet speeds, you know, two and a half gigabits or less, or especially under two gigabits, this can in theory actually give you a full wired backhaul setup. So instead of spending a lot of money to go with a wireless backhaul setup, you could potentially get this with a cheaper dual band system setup, kind of like with the XD5 that I recently reviewed and you can actually use this because the wireless backhaul speeds on the X-T5 were not that great. And, and that's to be expected, it is, it is a dual band system. Now, if I was hooking this up, what I would do is, if this guy was hooked up to, so if my WAN LAN was actually hooked up to my modem or ONT or DSL or whatever you're running, then the LAN would go to this and then this would go through the coax through the wall then come out from some other room to the coax and then this ethernet cable would connect to the WAN LAN of the secondary node and that would essentially create a wired backhaul network. So overall very impressed with the setup. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below and as always smash that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.